it's an interesting thing to open this up to the world because people who know what they're getting know what they're getting and people who don't who have never been exposed to the <laughs> this beautiful energetic world that a lot of us have been exploring for years sometimes there's a resistance because it's just it's so different than what you grew up with and learned so Please know you can't do an ESC wrong. ESC stands for Energetic Synthesis of Communion. And uh, my arms just go with the energy. Basically, I'm not making that happen. I'm just letting it. And you might want to just close your eyes, lie down and receive, and let someone gift to you. <laughs> Please. I'm doing this as a gift to you and it's not a gift with a particular goal or target in mind it is though an acknowledgement that we are all interconnected but not just us people us with the earth itself us with the trees us with the fungi and the dolphins and the whales and the oceans and every other element here on this beautiful planet. Now is our space, my beautiful friends. Imagine walking through this world with your heart wide open, your being wide open. No need to put up barriers again to anyone or anything. What I'm inviting you to with this is a different reality what I would call a non-reality that doesn't require the understanding of another to go where you can go, but it also doesn't exclude. During parts of this ESC, I'll be silent. <sighs> Just let it in, if you would, please, whatever it is. I don't even know how to describe the it. There's an energy of relaxation that we can be when we're truly being us, in which all the monkey mind and the shoulds and should nots and the have tos, all of the judgments melt. If you've ever gone out in nature and just felt like you could finally open up and be, that is what I'm talking about. What else is possible, my beautiful friends, with us actually being in communion with everything? No longer needing to enforce walls and barriers as though they protect us. When you put yourself behind a wall, you're the one stuck behind the wall. We have so many reasons for creating separation. And yet when we're truly the happiest is when there is none. And yes, we have people living in this world that live behind walls, but try to keep everyone out. And in truth, our heart hurts for them and we don't acknowledge it. They say or be something mean and we want to fight back because we know there's an inherent wrongness in that and not a wrongness in them, a wrongness that is something that goes against the very nature of consciousness, the very nature of this beautiful earth, the very nature of the world, and we know it, which is why we try to fight against it. But what if instead you could lower your walls and barriers and never again be drawn into fighting against? Because when you put up those walls and barriers and you go to fight against, you are going down to the level of no space that that person is unfortunately stuck in in this moment and believing is real. And when you don't go down and contract, when you don't make yourself small so you can fit behind your impenetrable shield, 
you become the space that invites others to know they can come out from behind their impenetrable shields. They can experience the light and the lightness. They can feel the sun on their skin and it is okay. I invite you to open up to what you know is you. The being you may remember being some point earlier in this lifetime. In fact, I'd like you to look at the being you were before you came into this body and just acknowledge it. That is you, my beautiful friend. And I'd like to acknowledge that you may be one of the keys to unlocking a different and far greater world for us all by choosing not to shrink or diminish you. By choosing to be that childlike joy and wonder and curiosity again. The world doesn't change by thinking and understanding more. Our world changes by opening to more space beyond that which can be defined. The world changes by each choice you make for joy and laughter. By each choice you make to be larger than judgment and larger than fight against. And if there is understanding to be gained, it comes in the form of knowing, which is not a thinking process. It's a space which encompasses all and allows you to see every perspective from which someone, including you, is functioning and to be in total allowance of that. No longer needing to fight against no longer needing to try to run away, but to stand there in all of your beauty, all of your gloriousness, all of your kindness, all of your gentleness. All of your gratitude, all of your joy, these are the elements of the potency of you. not your ability to fight and destroy. The only thing truly worth fighting for is possibility. And that is not a fight against another. That is a choice for you to demand what you know is true and invite it into being. Now is the space. For you as a being to finally have access to all the spaces of yumminess and kindness and joy and abundance and gratitude and connection and communion and love and adoration and admiration and ease with everything. And please know this doesn't come from me. I am not the source. I'm just the mouthpiece. I'm just the translator, a part of this energy and space into words. And I must say the words are by far the smallest part. I'm a creature who desires communion, who desires a world of beauty that we can all participate in. If we would allow ourselves the freedom to no longer have to be right for what we have chosen, and especially if we would allow ourselves the freedom to no longer have to be wrong 
for what we have chosen. Change is truly possible and you are in the midst of it right now. And hopefully we'll choose more. And as you do start crafting the life and living you truly desire, terraforming a new reality and world that works for us all and includes us all, and includes all of our differences and has them seen as possibilities and greatnesses, doesn't exclude them to try to homogenize us into the lowest common denominator. You're a gift, my beautiful friends, the likes of which this world has never seen, but would dearly like to now. Now is the time. Now is the space. If you're just getting on here and wondering what the fuck is going on, you're in the right place. I wonder that most of my life. It's an invitation, a gift to actually having space as you walk through the world. An invitation and a gift of no need for barriers of separation, walls of diminishment, walls of destruction of our connection to others and the planet and all the creatures living upon and within and through it. This is our home, my beautiful friends. Not just the box in which you live, but this entire planet is our home. What would it take for us to begin to acknowledge it and begin to awaken <clears throat> everything that we can contribute to? To make it a place we would love to live. You don't have to fight the haters. They're doing that on their own. Instead, love yourself. Adore you. Admire you. Have as your target that you are truly going to admire that person looking back at you from the mirror. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes, no matter what it looks like. There's a whole universe out there desiring to contribute to you. Will you please allow it to? You don't need to prove your power by not receiving from anyone or anything else any longer. Your true power is in your communion with every molecule, your consciousness of the connection that is there. No matter what form that takes, some of you call it God, some of you call it consciousness, some of you call it universe, spirit, who cares? Why separate based on a semantic discrimination designed to limit communion? In fact, why separate based on anything We are far greater than that. You are far greater than that. And if we no longer separate, if we allow just those of us participating in this right now and watching in the future to have the awareness and the willingness the awareness that all of these people are willing to have our backs and we are willing to have theirs. And the willingness to receive it and be contributed to. 
What possibilities would that create in our world? Does that create more of the world you would like to see? More of the world you would like to live in? More of the home that we truly have available to us by our choice? Now is the space, my beautiful friends. Yes, even now with everything you've gone through during the holidays. And perhaps especially now. Let's go on a little magic carpet ride, shall we? And if anything comes up that you require assistance with, just toss it in, throw it into the mix. See what a few thousand of us and the earth itself can contribute. You are not alone, my beautiful friend. Get whatever awarenesses or spaces that you do and just let them contribute. Recognize it is okay to receive. I'd like you to get the sense right now of being present with all the people watching this and walking through the world where all of these people, their entire target, whenever you require it, is to be there having your back, acknowledging what is true about you. And you have a few of us with our hands on your shoulders or we're holding hands and we are all holding hands with you at the center of the front line, walking through the world together. <clears throat> And every single person has as their target having your back. And in so doing, helping you heal those little yous that experienced trauma as you were growing up that are the reason and justification for what you cannot be today and cannot choose. And as you have these thousands of people there, arm in arm, just looking at you with total adoration and admiration and gratitude. It was like your heart bursts open, you let it open and you realize it's okay. And not one person out of this entire group would ever step upon it or harm it. You realize that there actually are people that are there for you having your back. And you realize even though it's weird and nonlinear, you can call upon us at any time and we are there. And you realize in that moment, you can also call upon the earth 
It's huge. It's an allowance of you and all of us. The earth could easily shrug us all off if it wanted to. But it sees our insanity and loves us anyway and has no point of view about it. It has massive gratitude for you desiring something different and greater. And will contribute anything to making that a reality for you. You just have to ask and be willing to let it in. And for some people, that sounds airy fairy, and boy, do I get it. Before doing this, I would have thought the exact same thing. And then I realized there's this beautiful world out there. There's so much beauty willing to contribute. And all I had been looking at was the ugly. I was taught that by my childhood and my history and the people. And all I could see as it related to me was ugly as though that's all there was in the world and that's all I was. And I started looking for something different. I started seeing glimmers of beauty. And at first it was shocking and then it was exciting. And so I started seeking it more. And I started finding the more I would give to others energetically, just a smile or a hug or an acknowledgement that it would grow in my world too. And I realized that's the beginning of how we create the world we desire is by being it and contributing where we can but not shutting down if somebody won't receive it because that's the exact thing that we are avoiding. And it's their avoidance that we're aware of and we're avoiding not being received so we don't open up. But what if you could open your heart and your being and have not only all these people, but the earth and every other element of consciousness contributing to you? Just basically looking in your direction and saying, you are so cool. You are such a gift, and I see, and I know that almost no one has gotten it, but we do, and we are here, and we're not going anywhere except forward and upward. You're not alone, my beautiful friend. And if you choose, you never will be again. Funny as certain people join the lives, the live or the Zooms, how there are other energies added to what this already is. And so if you are watching, all you have to do is just make the choice to let it contribute whatever it does. There it is, my beautiful friends. Welcome to the beauty of unleashing your being.
all of the things you've been told are evil and wrong and terrible about you or things like your lack of judgment, your joy, your generosity, your caring. We've been walking around hiding what we think is the evil of us. That is the antithesis. It's actually the beauty of your very being. So everything you've done to misidentify and misapply everything that is beautiful about you. As though it is somehow evil and not valuable. Will you please rescind, revoke, recant, proclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate? Times a gazillion, right, wrong, good, that all nine, pod, pop, shorts, boys, povets, and beyond. Your being is beautiful beyond measure, my beautiful friend. What a weird thing. What a weird thing that we are taught to hide that which is greatest about us by the way that is not your fault. Notice that space. Welcome to your world, my beautiful friend. Welcome to a world that is so fucking beautiful, we haven't even begun scratching the surface of what it is. Welcome to your world. Welcome to our world. And it's just a choice. If you have any desire for it, I'd say just go, hell yeah, I'm having it. I'm done with my judgments of me. I'm done with my judgments of others. I'm done thinking the world is a place that's out to get me because I realize my point of view creates my reality. Instead, I am here. I'm here to be the beauty that shows the world what is actually possible. And I'm not doing it for the people. I'm actually here for the earth and all the elements of consciousness and any of the people that actually desire more can come along too and contribute and enjoy. Now is our space. so amazing how we reject anything that doesn't match our fixed point of view. Wow. What else is possible to have a far more malleable point of view about everything? Oh, baby. Funny when reality creeps into space. Once again, you can tell that there are people out there watching and thinking 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 and then thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking as though thinking has ever gotten anyone anywhere 
Jump on into the space, my beautiful friends. It is your space after all. What will the world be like in two years as a result of your choice to be here for this? More space or less? More possibility or less? There are many people out there that will try to get you to align and agree that the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And all of these dire predictions are going to come true. Don't believe it. They're just trying to generate more polarity. Because if you disconnect from creating polarity, it can no longer exist. It's interesting, someone can be halfway across the world and you can still perceive the energy. In the space, the beautiful space that is your being. That's when you're being you, there's so much space with everything. And if we would stop concluding what our lives should be and trying to get them right, trying to function from need and the fulfillment of needs and the need to conclude in order to have. Instead, ask for what is enthusing. Ask what makes you lighter and happier. And the money and everything else will follow your joy. And at that point, though, money will be the least significant thing in your life for the most part. And most people aren't willing to give up their reference points for what they must struggle against in order to have, <clears throat> and in order to achieve, and in order to be. But what if you were, even if you don't know what it looks like, even if you don't know what it takes, 
What if you were willing to give up your points of view of everything you have to struggle for and struggle against? Just for a moment, ponder what it would be like waking up in a world where there was absolutely no struggle and no need for it. A world in which struggle did not even appear to create more, so you didn't have to choose it. See, that would be oriented correctly according to what is your actual world as the being you are. See, we have been taught that we need to struggle to create, but struggling is like being in one of those finger handcuffs where the more you struggle, the tighter it gets. What if the idea that struggle leads to creation is one of the greatest lies you've ever bought? Everything that is, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povets, and beyond. What if now is the time and now is the space to end struggle as the hallmark of your reality? It is for you, just acknowledge it with a yes in your head. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povets, and beyond. When you listen to this one again, 12 or 14 or 18 months from now, just remember when you said yes to this part. Or no. It's always your choice. fact, I'd love it if you set a reminder on your phone for 12 to 14 months from now, what changed from that global New Year's ESC in 2022? My sense is so much is going to change, you are going to forget what a global ESC in 2022 was, and you have to remind yourself, and then hopefully you'll go listen and go, holy friggin' cow, Batman. Look at everything I changed. How did that even happen? Exactly. That is how you create change, my beautiful friends. How did that even happen? And I love going live, doing weird shit with my hands and having my eyes closed because it looks so significant. <laughs> Yes, I'm willing to let my freak flag fly. It's time for a different world, beautiful you. I'm at least as weird as you are, and the original meaning of weird was of spirit, fate, or destiny. So what if now is the time to unleash your weird on the world? And stop hiding it and stop judging it and stop making it wrong and stop hiding it and making others wrong because they won't get it. Find people who will. Stop using the people in your life that you're currently using as your reason and justification for everything you cannot choose. There is no one powerful enough to stop you except you. Time to wake up and become an adult of consciousness in which you recognize that the choices you make for your life are the choices you are making. You are the one that has the capacity to make the choices that will lead to a different future, but you have to be willing to make the choices. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads, and beyond. So now is the time and now is the space, my beautiful friends, to wake up and be the brilliant being you truly be. To wake up and thrive like only you can. To let anybody else who doesn't want you to and who tries to stop you and tell you you're wrong just wave at them bye-bye. You don't have to get rid of them out of your life. You just have to stop listening to them as though their judgments have value. As though them keeping you in your place is somehow making sure you don't unleash your terribleness on the world. 
Remember, everything you've been told is terrible, wrong, vicious, mean, awful, and evil about you. Is everything that is truly great about you, your kindness, your joy, your gentleness, your gratitude, your generosity. You're not giving into judgment. You're not hating. You're not desiring to destroy. You're not desiring to fight against. These are what you've been made wrong for, beautiful you. So what if it's time to unleash your evil generosity and kindness and gentleness and joy and non-judgment on the world? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povads, and beyond. And what if it is finally time, and what if it is finally the space for you and us and the earth and all of its creatures together to thrive? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goodness, what else is possible? I love it because the difference of doing this with people who have received a lot of these is so interesting because receiving these allows you to receive more from these. And there is a miraculous energetic world available, my beautiful friends. And it's not just receiving these, it's using all the tools that get you into more question and less judgment and less right and less wrong. Oh, baby. Wow. And I realized how small we keep our lives. To try to be able to understand and define each moment and what that moment will lead to based on the definition and the understanding. There's so much greater than that. We are lightness embodied, my beautiful friend. Some would say light embodied, which I think is awesome too. You are lightness and you're being you. And there's not really a such thing as being you, like I'm being me totally, completely, and blah, blah, blah. No, it's more of a sense of just everything is okay. Wow. And there you go. Welcome to a new year, beautiful you. Thank you for being with me and us. Wow. What else is possible? Well, I hope this one was a contribution to y'all. And um, I hope I weirded some of you out. You guys are like, it's not weird. I know it's not weird. Some people don't. <laughs> Happy 2023, beautiful people. Thank you for being and thank you for being part of this. What a gift. And what else is possible now that we've never considered before? And if I know not this, what else is possible? See you soon. Bye-bye. Dr. Danger, out. Oh, wait. And little Dr. Danger. Okay. Happy New Year to you. Oh, wait. And little Gary. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, everybody. Go out and kick some ass. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
I'm so glad that was on the recording. Whew, I feel better about things. <laughs> Thank you all. See you soon somewhere. Bye-bye.